Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel Edmond Mendaros and for today's quick tutorial and I'm going to show you guys on how to resolve Windows update with the error code KB50555523 fails to install in Windows 11 computer. So KB50555523 update is a cumulative update for Windows 11 versions 24H2 released by Microsoft on April 8, 2025. As part of the monthly patch cycle to offer critical security patches and system improvements and several factors can cause KB5055523 include corrupted system files, low disk space, Windows update components, and third-party software. And without further ado, and let's go ahead. So the first solutions we will do is to check relevant services. So all you have to do is to press the Windows key plus letter R on your keyboard. And pop up this run. So here in box, then we need to type this command keyword services.msc. So just type this command keyword services.msc and then that is one word and then click OK. And once open up these services and services local and on right side, and then we need to find and locate this Windows update. So scroll down and then find and locate this Windows update. So all you have to do is to select and then right click. And then check the service. If already running, then select restart. But if the service is not running, then double click and open properties. So since this service is not running, so all you have to do is to double click. And then here at General Properties, Startup Type, and then you need to select Automatic. And then here at Service Status, and then click Start. And wait to complete the start process. And then click Apply, and then OK. All right, and the other keyword that we need to modify is the background intelligent transfer service. So scroll up and then find this background intelligence transfer service. So all you have to do is to select and then right click and then check if the service is already running or not. So since this service is already running and then select restart and wait to complete the restart process. And then after that, and the next keyword that we need to modify is the cryptographics service. So scroll down and then select cryptographic service, select and then right click. And then check if the service is running or not. So since the service is already running and then select restart and wait to complete the restart process. And after that, and the last keyword that we need to modify is the Windows Installer Service. So scroll down again and then find this Windows Installer Service. So once you find and locate this Windows Installer Service and then you need to select and then right click and then check if the service is already running or not. So since this service is not running and also maybe this is the grid out. So all you have to do is to double click and then here at General Properties and then you can see now this uh, service is grayed out so we cannot do anything here and then here and running then click stop and wait to complete and then again you need to select the service status and click start and then we need to wait to complete the start and the next step click ok all right so after here at services and then we need to close and the other solutions that we're going to do is to run the Windows Update Troubleshooters. So all you have to do is to open up on a search menu. And then here at search for apps. And then you need to type troubleshoot settings. And then click open. And here at troubleshoots. And then you need to select other troubleshooters. And then click. And again here at other troubleshooters. And then you need to select Windows Update. And on right side, then you can see here this Run and then click. And pop-ups this Windows Update detecting problems. So we will wait to complete the initializing and diagnostic process. 
and a troubleshooting has completed and then here problems spawn this windows update issues if these problems or issues are already fixed then click yes but if not then click no as well you can view the detailed informations about these issues and also you can follow or follow this uh, screen's instructions to fix this error all right so once you're done here at windows update troubleshooters and then we need to close and then here at start menu and then we need to restart all right so that's it guys on how to fix windows update with the error code kb5055523 failed to install in windows 11 and please don't forget to like this video subscribe to my channel for more quality content thank you guys and see you in my next tutorial